Welcome to our lecture online. One of the experiments performed on the, with the Viking landers was testing the general theory of relativity. Well, how was that done? Well, here we have a picture of the Viking lander superimposed on an actual background of the surface of Mars. Now, of course, the Viking landers were not able to take selfies like that, so this was kind of a doctored up picture, but it's nevertheless a mock-up uh, mock version of the lander that's superimposed on a Martian background. So that's what they look like. And uh, what happens, of course, is as the Earth goes around the Sun and Mars goes around the Sun, sometimes the line of sight to Mars is such that that path takes a very close proximity to the Sun as it passes. That means that over here, the signal would go through a portion of space that is under the influence of the gravitational effect of a large body like the Sun. Which means that in this location, time would run more slowly than it would in other places uh, in space. So when the Earth comes around, and the Earth is of course over here, or it's some other position relative to Mars so that the signal doesn't have to pass the Sun, then of course you have a direct line of sight where the signal does not pass close to the Sun. Well, when they're sent back and forth, and that was the objective, signals were sent from the Earth to the Viking landers on Mars, and then the signal was returned, and then they would compare the outgoing signal to the incoming signal, and from that, they're able, when they pass close to the Sun, they're able to measure the delay caused by the gravitational effect, the special relativity effect. And before, of course, they did that, they would calculate out what they expected the difference in the timing would be. The time delays measured corresponded to the actual calculated delays, they were very close, and therefore again showing how the theory of relativity could be tested using this kind of technique as well. And it was successfully tested in this particular fashion. So again, Viking landers, besides teaching us all kinds of things about Mars, well, we also learned more about the special theory of relativity using the Viking landers. And that is how it was done. Well, I don't have the actual numbers. Um, I don't know what the actual time delay is, but we're talking typically in terms of microseconds. Um, I don't think it would be in the realm of nanoseconds. I would think in probably somewhere in the, in the neighborhood of microseconds time delay. So it's very tiny. It's, we're talking about million, one million, two million, three millionths of a second. So it's a very small delay, but it can be easily measured using electronics.